What is up, everybody? This is Demi Guy Go Tiger coming at you. We are back with Resident Evil 2 Remake Glitches and Slash Out of Map, but this time we'll be in the second story game mode. So, what we'll need is one gun and one tool. Well, one key item, and that's it. And we can do this. So, let's get on with it. Now we are going to run over here, grab the cutting tool slash bolt cutters, skip the cutscene or watch it, and run to the door, to the door, past the zombies. If you are doing this on hardcore mode, I recommend getting the blue and red herb before you get the cutting tool. So, unlock the door. Throw this in. Single action army. Bullets. Skip the key. Grab one zombie. Not, not him. You. Come on. So we're going to have this zombie follow us up on this set of stairs. Now, once you get to the set of stairs, pop her leg off. And then maneuver her around until you got her in a perfect position. Now, once the zombie is at the first step, like so, like this, hopefully y'all can see it perfectly. We are going to be go in front of her and when she attacks with the animation the animation of the zombie attacking will glitch us into a state of levitation. So that with that said we can go out of the map. We can go places we are not we are not allowed to be at the moment. So here we go. Alright, like so. We're gonna try this again. Hopefully this time it works. Okay. 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 Hopefully it works. There it is. Now as you saw how the zombie was positioned and everything. That's how you need the, the zombie position. You don't need to you don't need to be on a left arm or right arm or wherever certain wherever people say. As long as the zombie is in the perfect spot and you are at the perfect angle, the glitch will work. So, from here, we are going to go through here. We are going to go right inside here to the entrance. Drop down. Follow this around. Load this in. Okay. Now, if if y'all been playing the second story like I have, y'all know about the liquor that's right here. Be warned though, if you kill him right now, and then you go through those doors over there. Shut up, dude. I'm trying to talk here. Thank you for ruining it. Uh, if you go through that door right there after you kill him, it will soft lock the game. So I do not recommend doing, I do not recommend killing him. Alright. And you see, he knows where we are. He just can't hit us. Alright. See what I'm saying? He knows where we are. See? He knows. He just can't do nothing. Don't worry, we're fine. He can't hit us. He, he's, we're fine. He cannot attack us. So just keep on going through here. Go past here a little bit. We are going to have to load that up. Don't go in. If you go straight right here, you will load up the dark, the, uh, dark room and everything right here. And you will glitch back into... The map. 
So that's what we need. Well, we're going to go right here. Now, a little bit right there. That's where the elevators for the chief's office are on the second floors. Go in to let it load. Alright, there we go. We're going to go around. And if you go straight here, we'll go to the first floor entrance. Like so. And now, from here on, just do what you would normally do from the library. Come down here. Go down. Run straight across. Load it in. There to the parking garage. And there we go. Then follow all, then follow the steps straight to the orphanage. And literally, you just literally skipped the whole police station. You didn't even go inside the police station. You skipped the whole thing. So literally, there is no, there is, the police station is gone. You, we don't have to go there at all. Load it up. Follow. <laughs> Like I said, just go straight. And then, and basically just keep on going the way you've done before and you'll be at the orphanage. On the second story. So literally, you didn't have to go, you didn't have to set foot in the police station at all. Now, that is the best glitch ever in a game. Skipping a whole... Basically a whole station, a whole police station. Yeah. Alright. Now once you're in here, you can actually go in the school bus. Grab the grenade. And you can actually go all the way over here without the dogs or anything coming out. Because nothing has been loaded. As long as that the uh, cutscene for the parking garage didn't happen, you can grab all this. See what I'm saying? Here we are. Like I said, nothing nothing will load here because we skipped the cutscene for the parking garage. So yeah, hope y'all enjoyed that, that was the best glitch ever. I will be uh, re-uploading my uh, hardcore gameplay. I will be doing only three or less saves, no first save spray, no infinite weapons. All I will be using is just the grenades, the sub weapons, and herbs, nothing else. And if I die, I'll have to start all the way from the last time I saved, which will be hard because the first time I'm going to be saving will be in a lab. So yeah, if y'all want to see that, let's hit two likes on this video. Alright. Thanks guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. This is Demi, I go Tinker. And I am out of here.